Good evening, everyone. Can you hear me perfectly? Good evening, teacher. Yes. Okay, well, welcome to the session number two of classes. Okay, well, as you could, as you have, a, as you could see yesterday, we had our first class. Okay, and today we're going to continue, okay, with our second class, and we'll have a, a different topic. Okay, uh, well, I think that we have a new student today. Let's see, Beatrice, were you with us yesterday? Yes. Yes, you were, ah, oh, okay, you were with us. I thought that you were a new student, I'm sorry. Okay, everyone, welcome to a new day of classes. Uh, first of all, we are going to make a review, okay, of the class that we had yesterday. Okay, we are going to have a, uh, like a, some feedback, you know, about the class that we had yesterday. Uh, you remember we were talking about the months and the ordinal numbers, right? Okay, do you remember when we use the ordinal numbers, everybody? What is the most common use for ordinal numbers? Do you remember? Uh -huh. Who can tell me? A volunteer, please. For days. For days, exactly. So for example, when you when you uh, when you express the date of your birthday, okay. For example, we use the ordinal numbers, okay. And also when we talk about specific dates. For example, you, we were talking about Mother's Day, Father's Day, Valentine's Day, Christmas. We use the ordinal numbers in this situation. Okay, we're going to make a review. We're going to start with uh, Roberto. Roberto, can you tell me when is your birthday, for example? Roberto? Ah, you have problems. Okay. We have issues okay, trying to listen. Okay, we're gonna try with somebody else. Uh, Xiomara, can you tell me the date or or when when is Mother's Day, for example? Okay, my mother's birthday is in is on May. On May, May and in the ordinary May. May. Uh -huh. Well, I think that Samara got disconnected in this moment. Okay, so another example, for example, who can tell me about uh, Christmas, for example? When is Christmas? Can anybody tell me? Can anybody tell me when is Christmas? December 25th. Excellent, December 25th, okay. Now, another volunteer, please. Who can tell me when is Valentine's Day? Can anybody tell me? Valentine's Day? You can turn on your microphone and, and tell me. Okay, when is Valentine's Day, everyone? February 14th. February 14th, okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so in this kind of situation, we use the ordinal numbers, right? When we talk about a, when we talk about dates, and remember that there is a specific modification in the number. Okay, in most of the numbers, we include the th. For example, when you say a, a four, fifth, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 14, 16, 17, et cetera, okay? And when it's the first three numbers, for example, okay, we have first, second, and third, okay? For example, in the case of Halloween, when is Halloween, everybody? Can anybody tell me? It's on October 31st. October 31st, excellent. 
okay, October 31st. So in that case, we make a combination, you know, we combine cardinal number 30 and then the ordinal number okay, first, 30 first. Okay, so as you can see, the ordinal numbers are very simple when we talk about dates, okay? So this is the topic that we had yesterday. Okay, for tonight, everybody, we have a different topic. Okay, it's a topic that, uh, it's a topic that we have, uh, when we talk about plans for the future. Can you, I have a question. Can you see the screen at this moment? Can you see it, everybody? Can you see the, the screen? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. So take a look, please. Okay, we have going to in the time expression for future. Going to is when we talk about when we talk about plans for the future. Okay, when we describe, for example, I have a plan for, for tomorrow, I use going to. Okay, but in this case, before going to, I need to use the verb to be. Okay, for example, I am, and then going to. For example, imagine that my plan for tomorrow is a, a buy a new computer, for example. So I say, I am going to buy a new computer tomorrow. Okay, so this is the, this is my plan. I am expressing a plan in that situation. I am going to buy a computer tomorrow. If you are talking about a third person, for example, you can say my mother. Okay, in that case, we use the auxiliary. The verb to be as an auxiliary is. Okay, my mother is going to go shopping tomorrow. Okay, now let's take a look to the structure, for example, of going to observe everybody. Okay, be going to is used to express future plans and intentions. Okay, like this. And if you see everybody, we can use contractions in this case. Okay, when we are talking about uh, the verb to be, okay, we use the contraction. I'm going to visit Italy. You are going, when it's uh, the second person, you are going to visit Italy. If it's third person, he, she, he is going to visit Italy. Now, if it's plural, we use are, the contraction. We are going to visit Italy. Okay, we are going to visit Italy or they are going to visit Italy. Okay, so as you can see, when you talk about future plans, it's very simple. Okay, it's very, very simple. We can uh, we can use the verb to be, going to, and then the very original form. This is very important. Okay, this is the structure for be going to. Okay. So at this moment, we are going to have a, we have more exercises here. We have more examples, sorry. I'm going to study tonight. She's going to have a party. Remember, at the end of the, at the, end of the sentence, we can include the time expression. For example, in this case, can be tomorrow, okay, uh, next weekend, okay, uh, uh, next year, et cetera, okay? So, and do you have any questions about the about be going to in this moment, everybody? Do you have any questions? Everything is clear? No questions about the structure? No, not at all. No, teacher. No, okay. So let's continue. Now we're gonna use uh, the verb uh, the we're gonna use going to okay in a very simple exercise here. Sir, please. Observe. Okay, you're going to tell me what is your plan for tomorrow? I am going to. And then your plan. I am going to, for example, I am going to cook tomorrow. I am going to visit my family tomorrow. I am going to work tomorrow, etc. Anything, any idea that you may have. Okay. Now let's see. The first volunteer, please. 
We're going to start with uh, Mary. Mary, what is your plan for tomorrow? I, I, I am going to study. I'm tomorrow. going to study tomorrow. Study. I'm going to study tomorrow. Study. Excellent. Okay, Mary, choose a different classmate, please. Observe the participants that we have for tonight. Observe the participants. And choose a classmate, please. Okay, you have the power, Mary. Choose the next classmate. Uh, Roberto Quijano. Roberto, okay, what is your plan for tomorrow, Roberto? <laughs> Uh -huh. What can be your plan for tomorrow? Tell us. Um, um, I am going to school tomorrow. <laughs> I am going to go to school tomorrow. Okay. Well, tomorrow, uh -huh. Okay. Excellent. Now let's choose a different participant here. Let's see, Beatriz. What is your plan for tomorrow, Beatriz? Mm, I'm... I'm going to go to the river tomorrow. Ah, you're going to go to the river tomorrow. Okay, thank you, Beatrice. Elena, can you hear me, Elena? Yeah. Elena? Yes. Hi, good evening. Hello. Okay, Elena, we're talking about plans Hello. for the future. What is your plan for tomorrow? My plan for tomorrow, I am going to work all day. Okay, we're going to work all day. Very well. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Now let's continue with Flor. Flor, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay, Flor, tell me, what's your plan for tomorrow? What is your plan? I am going to visit my family. Okay. I am going to visit my family tomorrow. I'm going to visit my family tomorrow. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. Now let's continue with Harold. Harold, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, yes. I am going to I am going to pick up a donation for the foundation. Ah, okay, so you're working for a foundation, so you are going to pick up a donation. Please. Okay. Thank yes. you. Now let's continue with um, Iris. Can you hear me, Iris? Yes, good evening. Good evening. I so, am going to the park. Tomorrow in the afternoon. I'm going to, to the park tomorrow in the afternoon. Okay, thank you. Now let's continue with uh, Kevin. Kevin Portillo, can you hear me? Yeah, hi. I am going to study tomorrow. Okay, and we're going to study tomorrow. Thank you. Jose. Jose Figueroa, what's your plan for tomorrow? Jose, can you hear me? Well, maybe he has some issues with the microphone and the signal. Let's see. And uh, Orlando, what's your plan for tomorrow, Orlando? Hi, good night. Okay. Good evening. I am good going evening. to, good evening. Excuse me. Uh, I am going to play football tomorrow. Okay, you're going to play football tomorrow. You are going to practice sports. Okay, everybody, now let's continue with somebody else. Let's see. Ronald. Ronald Gutierrez. Okay, what is your plan for, for tomorrow? Good evening. Good evening. Uh, I'm going to, to work and study. Okay, you are going to work and study tomorrow. This is your plan. Okay, thank you. Now let's conclude with uh, Xiomara. What is your plan for tomorrow, Xiomara? I'm going to study tomorrow. Oh, you're going to study tomorrow. Okay, thank you. Okay, what about Suleyma? What is your plan for tomorrow, Suleyma? I'm going to study tomorrow. I'm going to study tomorrow. Okay, these are your plans. So as you can see, all of you told me your plans for, for tomorrow. Okay, so we use okay, the verb to be, we use going to, 
and the verb in the original form. Okay, the verb in the original form. And then we can use the time expression. If you want to make your plan more specific, okay, we use a time expression. The time expression can be tomorrow, okay, next Saturday, for example, uh, next year, etc. Okay, now let's continue. Okay, with the with more examples, okay, you see me be going to. Okay, here we are. So this is the, these are some examples and we have the negative form. And we have the negative form as you can see, it's very easy. You only include not, okay? I am not going to visit Italy, okay? It's negative, it's a negative form. It's a negative structure, but at the same time, it's a plan. I am not going to eat a hamburgers tomorrow, for example. She's not going to work next week, for example. Okay, so in that case, we are using a negative form. And now, observe this, we can use the other option, which is a, a contraction. Okay, I am not going to visit Italy, for example. Or you, are, you aren't going to work tomorrow, she isn't going to buy a car, etc. Okay, and now this is a very important structure of surface, the questions. These are questions with short answers. Okay, these are closed questions. Why we call them closed questions? Because when we practice these questions, we only have a short answer, which is yes or no. For example, are you going to have classes in Inglés Corporativo tomorrow? Yes, I am. Okay. Are you going to have classes in Inglés Corporativo next Saturday? No, I am not. So in this case, you give a short answer, right? You give a short answer. Okay. Are you going to work tomorrow? Yes, I am. Okay. This is the question form. Okay. And now we have a well, these are the short answer. If it's yes, you say, yes, I am. If it's negative, no, I am not. Okay, so we use the verb to be when you give a short answer. Okay, and these are the time expressions. Okay, when we talk about the future, tomorrow morning, for example, tomorrow afternoon, okay, next week, next month, next year, etc. Okay, and now, Observe, please. We have uh, some examples here. Peter is going to paint his house next Saturday. Jack isn't going to travel by plane tomorrow. And now this is a question. Is Frank going to visit the museum on Sunday? Yes, he is. No, he is. Okay, very well. And now I want you to please take a look at this exercise here. Okay, I want you to give me a, give me the correct sequence. Okay, the words are disorganized here. So give me the correct sequence for this exercise here. Observe this, we have uh, this one, going to. Okay, let's see, I need a volunteer please. Who can tell me the correct sequence of the first exercise? Can anybody help me here? We are okay. Oh. okay. Who? Let's we, see. we are okay, Roberto. We are uh, huh? okay. We are going to play football. We are we are play we are going to play football after after, after school. After school, excellent. Very good. Okay, so we have the subject first. We and then the verb to be are. And then going to, we are going to, and then the action, play football. Okay, most of the time, at the end, at the end of the sentence, we include the time expression. Okay, we include the time expression after school. Okay, Roberto, do me a favor, choose a different classroom, please. Okay, pay attention to the participants that we have here. Okay. Xiomara Guerra. Xiomara. Okay, Xiomara. What is the correct sequence for the number two? Observe, please. 
Okay, Eduardo, Eduardo is going to open the window. Okay, Eva is going to open the window. Okay, Eva is going to open the window. And here, okay, this one, in the last exercise, we have, this is a little, we have more, more words. Okay, Rachel, Isa, I'm going to visit Scotland next time. So you see, the time expression is at the end, at the end of the sentence. Okay, next, next summer in this case. All right, now let's continue with, uh, with more exercises here. Let's see, let's eliminate this one. Okay, here we are. Okay, Samara, do me a favor, please. Choose the next classmate. Um, it is Herrera. It is, okay. How can you organize? This is a question. When you see the question mark here, this is a, this is a question. Okay. okay, how can you organize the question? It, uh -huh. Anna, Anna is... No, it's... it's uh, upside down. In this case, the verb to be is at the beginning because it's a question, right? So, is Anna? Is, is, is Anna? Uh -huh. uh, going to buy a new t shirt? Excellent. Okay, because it's a question. Is Anna? Okay, let me write the question here. Is, is Anna? On Going, going to, to buy, buy a, new, a new t shirt. Excellent. Is Anna going to buy a new t shirt? Good. Good job. Thank you. Uh, 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 let's see. Choose the next classmate, please. Okay. Do me a um, favor. Choose the next classmate. Um, Somebody who hasn't participated. Uh, Elena? Elena, okay. Can you hear me, Elena? Okay. Okay, Elena. Let's Laura, see. Laura and Pau. Laura and Pau are oh, going me, to listen to music. Excellent. Okay, Laura. So in this case, this is the subject. The subject is in plural. Laura and Paul. Yes, are Laura and Pau. Paul, are going to listen to music. Listen to music. Excellent. Okay, yes. so this is the sentence. In this case, remember, because it's the verb to be, okay, in the plural form, we use are. Okay, Laura and Paul are going to listen to music. Okay, and the last one, we have a question. Okay, choose a different classmate, please. Beatriz Galdames. Beatriz, can you hear me, Beatriz? Yes, teacher. Okay, go ahead, please. How can you organize this question? This is a question. Are Andrea in Africa? Are Andrea going to play in Africa? Are Andrea Africa going is like a, just like a name too. Okay. Going to play. Okay. Are Andrea in Africa going to play computer games? This. Computer games tomorrow. Computer games. Mm -hmm. Are Andrea in Africa? So Africa is like the name of a girl too. So going to going to play computer games. Play computer games. Okay, and we needed the last word. What is the last word, everybody? Can anybody tell me? What's the last word? Tomorrow. Tomorrow, that's right. The time expression. Tomorrow. Okay, Ireland and Africa going to play computer games tomorrow. Okay, so this is the, as you can see, this is a, a this is the closed question. Okay, when you give a short answer, you say, yes, I am. No, I am not. Okay, everybody. Now, 
I want you to please pay attention to this. We are gonna use the WH questions. Observe this, the WH questions. For example, what are you going to do next weekend? Observe the time expression is at the end here. Okay, what are you going to do next weekend? So let me make the letters a little bigger so that we can see. Okay. okay, like this. What are you going to do next weekend? So in this case, you give a specific answer, right? I am going to, I'm going to relax next weekend. I am going to visit my family, etc. Okay, let's see. Iris, do me a favor, please. Ask this question okay, to a classmate. Ask the question to a classmate, Iris. What are you going to do next weekend? Uh -huh. This is a question for, okay, choose the classmate, please. Pay attention to the participants. Um, Who? Uh, Mary. Mary, Mary, what are you going to do next weekend? Okay, Mary, can you go? Uh, I'm going to do next weekend visit our doctor. Okay, I am going to visit the doctor next weekend, remember? The time expression yeah. is, uh, is at the end, at the end of the, of the sentence. Okay, Mary? Now for the question for a boy, please. Choose the next class. What are you going to do next weekend? Um, yeah. Choose the participant, please. Beatriz Galdames. Beatriz. Okay, what are you going to do next yes. weekend? Mm, I'm going to my sister-in-law's birthday party. Ah, okay, you're going to visit your sister. Visit your sister. Sister-in-law's birthday party. Ah, okay, very well. So in this case, uh, well, this is your, your plan for next weekend. Okay, now everybody, we're going to make a parenthesis here. I we're going to make a parenthesis here. When we use going to, okay, remember this is the question. Okay, and sometimes, the, well, most of the time, Americans, okay, when you, for example, pay attention to the TV series in Netflix or in movies, they don't say going to, okay? They say gonna, okay, so they say, what are you gonna, what are you gonna do next week? Okay, what are you gonna do next week? They don't say, what are you going to do next week? Because if you are in a Chair. informal context, yes? Ahí le dejaron un mensaje. Ah, there's a message here. Let me see in the chat. <laughs> ah, it's Stephanie. Okay. Well, I am going to answer it. Okay, I'm going yes. to tell her in this moment. Okay, so this is the, the, the message. Okay, so guys, I was telling you about going to. So Americans, Americans don't say uh, going to most of the time. Okay? They say gonna. Okay? So when you watch the TV series, for example, okay, or when you watch uh, movies, most of the time, Americans don't say going to. Okay? They say gonna for questions and for answers to observe. What are you going to do next week? Ah, I am going to uh, go. I'm going to play sports with my friends. 
Okay, so because Americans, they speak very fast, so they don't say going to, they say going. Okay, so in this context, uh, it's informal, okay? It's informal, but uh, it's an informal context, but it doesn't mean that you cannot use it. Yes, you can use, for example, Donna, when you are talking with your friends, for example, when you are talking with your family, with your co-workers, you can use Donna in this case. But if you are in a, in a formal situation, okay, if you are in a formal situation, if you are in a, in a, in a, for example, in an interview, in a conference, in a presentation, it's more recommendable to use one too. Okay. Now we have a different question here. Where are you going to travel in December? Okay. This is a question that we have. Where are you going to travel in December? Let's see, Mary. Ask this question to a different classmate. Where are you okay, Mary, ask the question to a different classmate. Mary, can you hear me? Mary, can you hear me? Perdón, teacher, no estaba poniendo cuidado que mi hija me estaba comentando algo. Okay, no problem. So, Practice this question. Ask this question to a different classmate. Where, where are you going to travel in December? Hey. ¿Dónde viajarás? ¿Dónde viajarás en December? Exactly. And that's the translation. I... Uh -huh. I'm going to travel in... A Wachapan. <laughs> You're going to travel to Wachapan. Okay, yeah, it's a, it's a city here. Okay. I know that. <laughs> okay, very close to some time. Okay, Mary, ask the same question to a different classmate. Choose a different classmate, please. Uh, where, where are you going to travel in December? Uh, Elena Polanco. Elena Polanco, can you hear me? Um, I'm not going to travel in December, but I am going to travel in November. In November, next month. Okay, where are you going to travel yes. in November? Yeah. I'm going to travel LA. Oh, Los Angeles. In November, okay. yes, in November 26th. In November 26th. Okay, well, so we're going to visit your family in the USA in November. Yes, I'm going, I'm going to visit my sister and my father. Okay, fantastic, thank you. What about you, Stephanie? Where are you going to travel in December? Yes. Okay. I am going to travel to, I don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't travel. You don't want to because travel. Because my family stay at home. You forget yeah. it. It's more, sometimes it's, now because of the situation, it's more recommended. It's more recommended to stay at home. You're right. Okay, now guys, as you can see, this is the question form okay, for WH questions. We have what, where, when, etc. Okay, and then we have who, going to. Okay. Who, Do you have how. Any? Okay, now let's continue with a different activity in this case. Okay, let's continue here. Okay, let's pay attention to this exercise, everybody. Observe this. Look at a Susan's diary. Look at Susan's diary for next week. Okay. For example, Susan has a plan for Monday. Susan has a plan for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay. Now, you'll have to tell me the specific plan for Susan. If I say, okay, what is Susan's plan for Monday? What is she going to do on Monday? And then you tell me, Susan is going to clean the bathroom on Monday. Okay, now let's choose a participant here. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, Flor, can you hear me? 
Yes. Okay, Flor. What is Susan going to do on Sunday? Take a look, please. Look at her plans. Um, I'm going to visit the art museum. Okay, on Sunday, she's going to visit the art museum. Okay, remember, you have to give me a complete a complete answer. She is going to visit the art museum. Okay, now let's choose a different classmate. Tracia, Tracia, can you hear me? Yes, Okay. Please. tell me. What is Susan going to do on Wednesday? Susan is going to study for the history exam on Wednesday. Excellent, thank you, thank you very much. Okay, now let's continue with Iris. Iris, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay, Iris, what is Susan going to do on Monday? Uh, Susan going to clean the bathroom. Okay, Susan is going to clean the bathroom. Excellent, very good. Now, uh, different classmates, let's see. Roberto. What is Susan going to do on Friday? Susan, Susan going to meet Harry. No, no, no escucho bien. Este, tengo problemas con el audio. Ah, you have problems with the audio. Okay, so it's on Friday. Yeah, but it's okay. No problem. Susan is going to meet Harry on Friday. Harry. Yeah, that's okay. Thank you. Now we have a different participant here in uh, Ronald. Let's listen to Ronald. Ronald, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay. Ronald, what is Susan going to do on Saturday? Uh, she is going to play football. She is going to play football. Excellent. Thank you very much. Now we are going to have the last participant. Let's see. Um, Stephanie. Stephanie, what is Susan yes. going to do on Wednesday? Okay, Susan is going to study for the history exam. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, guys, remember okay. when you are using the third person, please. Don't forget the verb to be. Don't forget the verb to be. For example, if you say, Susan going to uh, meet Harry on Friday. Uh -uh, that's incorrect. We need the verb to be. Susan, Susan is. is going to meet Harry okay, on Friday. Okay. What about Sundays? Susan is going to visit the art museum on Sunday. Okay, so this is the idea. Remember, we need the verb to be. Okay, we are using the, the third person. Okay, everybody, do you have any questions so far? Any questions? No question. No questions, okay. Now let's continue with a, with a different activity this moment. Okay, look at the picture, please. Look at the picture, number one. So you have to look at the picture and then you have to give me the complete idea. All right, observe please. Let's choose and uh, Suleyma, can you hear me Suleyma? Yes. Okay, Suleyma, number one is for you. Look at the picture and pay attention here to the, mm -hmm. the words. And you have to construct the plan. Uh -huh. Um, he's going to do, he's going to do an incredible magic trick. Trick, excellent. He is going to do an incredible magic trick. Excellent. Thank you. Now let's have a different participant, Lena. Can you hear me, Lena? Yes. Okay. Look at the picture number two. Okay. Then how it works. Now give me the plan. She, she is going to jump. She is going to jump. Excellent. Jump. 
Excellent, thank you. Now let's have a different participant here. Uh, Orlando, Orlando, number three. Look at the picture here. And then you have the words. Now give me the plan. They going to fly to Spain. They are going to fly to Spain. Excellent. Very good. Thank Spain. you. They are going Spain. to fly to Spain. Now this is for and um, Harold. Harold Villanueva. Okay. Number four. Look at the picture and pay attention to the words. Um, I'm going to play tennis. I am going to play tennis. Excellent. I'm going to play tennis. Thank you very much. Now let's continue with uh, Mary. Mary, number number five is for you. Look at the picture, and you have the words. Now give me the plan, please. They they going to watch TV. They are going to watch TV. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, and finally, yeah, number six, number six. This is going to be for uh, Xiomara. Number six, look at the picture. Okay, these are the words. Now give me the plan. They are going to visit the Alhambra. Okay, they are going to visit the Alhambra. Very well, thank you. Okay, everybody, now we're going to have a mini presentation in this moment, okay? What is the mini presentation about? Observe, please. Everybody, I have a question. Do you play the lottery? Do you guys play the lottery? Yes. Yes? Well, you have never played the lottery? You think it's a bad idea to play the lottery? Okay, let's use our imagination. I don't moment. know. Everybody, let's use our imagination. Okay, observe this. I just won $100 million in the lottery. Can you imagine that? Okay, $100 million in the lottery. Okay, so in this moment, you are going to present your plans. Observe this. These are my plans. Okay, in one minute, everybody, in one minute, you are going to give me three or four plans that you have okay, with this money, $100 million. Okay, are you ready to give me your plans? So I remember, I you just... to... Okay, Stephanie, you start. Okay, tell us, three or four plans. I am... Okay, I am going to buy a new car. Okay. Later, I am going to travel to United States, okay. and especially Boston, Massachusetts. Okay. And I am going to visit a lot of places with my mother, and I am going to buy a new house. And by any means. Thank you. Thank you, Stephanie. Good job. Okay, now let's continue with Elena. Elena, tell me three or four plans, please. Remember, you have $100 million. What are your plans? I am, I am going to travel to Europa. Europe, Europe. That's the point. I am Europe. going to travel a new car. Uh, buy and new car. I am going. And I am going to buy a big house. Okay. No me alcanza. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. So yeah, with one hundred million dollars, you can do many things. Okay. Now, uh, Beatrice, <laughs> it's your turn, Beatrice. Tell me, what are your plans? Mm, I'm going to. I am going to buy a new house. Okay. I am going to travel for USA. Okay, travel to the USA. And I am going. I am going to buy new car. Okay, you are going to buy new car. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, now let's continue with Flor. What are your plans, Flor? 
I am going to travel with my family. Okay. I am going by. No, I am going to buy a new house, okay. and I am going to buy a lot of clothing. Clothes, a lot of clothes. Yeah, we're going to go shopping very often. Okay, thank you. Now let's continue with Harold. What are your plans? You just won one hundred million dollars in the lottery. Mm, I am going to uh, founder a center for helping children with differ with school difficulties. Okay. And I'm I am going to uh, uh, founder a business. Okay. Open a business. Okay. Or Open a business. Okay. Set up. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I am going to add, I am going to travel to Japan. Travel to Japan. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. And now let's continue with uh, see Iris. Iris, what are you yes, planning? I am going to cruising the ship for the world. Okay. I am going to buy a new house and I am going to open the restaurant. Okay, what kind of restaurant would you like? <laughs> Mexican restaurant, Mexican um, food restaurant, Italian food. No, Salvador, Salvadorian, Salvadorian food. food. Okay, <laughs> typical food from Salvador. Okay, fantastic. Good idea. Okay, now let's see. Jose, what are your plans for after you won $100 million? Uh, hi, I am going to help school children okay. and give a better life uh, to my parents. Okay. Um, Only that. Okay, these are your plans. Okay, thank you. Now let's see, Kevin. I am going to visit my daddy, uncles, mm -hmm. and cousins in the United States. Mm -hmm. I am going to invest in in all two company. I am going to travel, and I am going to try. I am going to. I am to go travel my my family. With your family. You're going to travel with your family. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, now let's see. Tricia. What are your plans, Tricia? I'm going to get some money less. And I'm going to travel to Brazil. And I'm going to buy a new house. Very well, thank you. Thank you very much. Now let's continue with uh, Mary. Mary, what are your plans? First, I'm going to buy a um, house mm -hmm. and then um, help the most needy mm -hmm. or for our children. Okay, how the poor children. Okay, that's a good idea. Okay, thank you. Now let's see Roberto. It's your turn, Roberto. What are your plans? What are you what do you plan to do with one hundred million dollars? I uh, I am going to buy a new house. Okay. Uh, I am going to the Mayan River. I am going on a tour in Europa. In Europe, Europe. Okay, you're going to this is sure. school or study in oh. Europe. Oh. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Now let's see uh, Orlando. Can you hear me, Orlando? Yes. Okay, Orlando, what are your plans? You just won $100 million in the lottery. Okay, tell us three or four plans. Oh, oh my plans here. Uh, a new car, a new house. Are you okay, going but buy? You to, but you need to use going to and going to buy. Going, going to 
Yes, thank you. I am going to buy new house. Mm -hmm. uh, go, I am going to buy new car. Uh, I <clears throat> going to uh, visit my parents in USA. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, now let's see Ronald. Ronald, can you hear me? Hello. Hello, Ronald. Okay, Ronald. Yeah. Let's use our imagination and creativity. You just won $100 million in the lottery. What are your plans? Uh, maybe, uh, maybe I'm going to travel to Spain. Okay. Um, I'm going to buy a, a car. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to remodel my house. Oh, okay. Or maybe buy a new house, right? A yeah. different country, for example. Okay. Thank you, Rona. Uh, let's see, Samara. What are your plans for after you have won one hundred million dollars? I'm going to buy two houses. Two houses. Okay. Um, good. Yes. <laughs> Um, I'm going to travel in the world travel with my the... family. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to travel in the... in Spain. Okay, we're interested in visiting Spain. Okay, thank you. Okay, and we conclude with Selena. Okay, so Lena, what are your plans after you have more than 100 million? Yo, um, <laughs> yo no sé cómo decirlo en inglés. <laughs> okay, so you have to Pero... use one too. I am going to this surface. I am um, going um, to. And then the plans for example, it... buy a house, buy a car, travel. Okay, you have to use going to. I have two. finished. I finish la, la ingeniería. Okay, finish the career. I'm going to finish my career. Ah. Huh? Other, um, other plan? Y comprar muchos animales. Ah, <laughs> Tener una hacienda. Rescue, rescue <laughs> Okay, ah. what else? What is another plan? Y ese es comprar muchos animales. Okay, y invertir animals. el dinero para producir más. Okay, we're going to invest. Invest the money. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, guys. So, this is the way we express plans. Okay. Uh, when we talk about future plans, we use be going to. I don't know if you have any questions or any doubts that you have before we finish. Everybody? I don't have questions. You don't have any questions? Okay. Well, remember that you have we have two topics right now. We have the months and the and the ordinal numbers. That's the, the topic that we had yesterday. And today we have a new topic, right? That, which is the be going to when we talk about future future plans. Okay, and remember, guys, it's uh, the idea is that you can practice in the platform. Okay, try to practice with these topics. Okay, because remember, you have to uh, take some evaluations, right? When you when you are in the uh, when when we conclude some some specific topics. Okay, so it's a good idea that you can complete the exercise. Okay, and remember. We have the WhatsApp group, okay, and in the WhatsApp group, I'm going to share the, the, the same video that we have every night. Okay, I'm going to share with you the, 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 the classes, probably you don't, if you don't have the opportunity to be with us, okay, you can take a look at the class and review the, the exercises that we have. Okay, and if you have any question in WhatsApp, okay, you can ask them, okay? Very well. I don't know. If you uh, have... I mean, do you have any questions before we conclude today's session, everybody? Me. <laughs> okay, tell me. 
Eh, eh, sobre, sobre la plataforma, se, quiero ver, lo que pasa es que no me, no me respondieron, yo mandé ahí al, al grupo de WhatsApp que tenía problemas con el ejercicio 1.11, ah. era un examen, mm. era un examen, entonces yo leí las instrucciones y todo, eh, y lo hice como decía las instrucciones, pero... Igual no, no me salía correcto, no, no mm -hmm. sé cómo es. What time did you did you did you send the message? ¿A qué horas lo, ¿A qué horas lo, lo envió el mensaje? Eh, fue el domingo, creo. Sí, ah, el domingo creo. Was... Ajá, yo ya había, yo ya había empezado a hacer lo, lo de la plataforma antes que, uh -huh. que empezara la primera clase. Ah, Pero okay. no me respondieron. Yeah, maybe because uh -huh. you, we didn't have the pitch bell. Let's do something. You can repeat the question, okay, in this moment, okay, after we finish the class. After we finish, you can ask the same question. Okay, and remember everybody, it's a good idea that you take pictures. Take pictures, okay, to the uh, or or a screenshot, okay. and then you can share it uh -huh. in, in WhatsApp. Okay. Okay. Okay, everybody. Okay. We conclude the class in this thank moment. You. Okay. Thank you so much for your participation and and your cooperation for tonight. And tomorrow, okay, we have the session number three. Okay. Thank you and have a good night. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay. Good night, good night. Good night everybody. Take care. Thank you. Good night. Tomorrow, eight o'clock. Good night. Good night.